Hello, darlings, and to all you lovers of the eerie, surreal, spooky, or macabre, welcome to Musi's Modern Dreadfuls. Today, we're visiting an old friend. Yes, we will say hi to Blair Daniels, and I will bring to you some of her older works. So relax, get comfy, and away we go. My son's been acting strange. Ever since I killed him, I didn't mean to kill him. We were walking in the backyard, down the rocky hill that leads back toward the house. While holding Alex's hand, I tripped and brought him down with me. I fell soft on the grass. He fell on the rocks. His head made a sickening thwack. And then he laid there in a still bloody heap. I, I couldn't process it. It was like I just broke. I stared at his lifeless body for what seemed like hours, although it was probably just a few minutes. Then I ran back inside, locked the doors, and sobbed hysterically. I don't know why I didn't call 911. I don't know why I left his body out there. But believe me, I wish I'd done those things. It was about 4 a.m. when I woke. I'd fallen asleep in the chair by the kitchen, exhausted after so much crying. Tap. 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 It was coming from the sliding glass door. I stood up slowly, my mind foggy from sleep, and walked over. <gasps> I froze. My little boy was standing there in the dark. Blood dripped down his face. His knees were scratched and bruised. His hair was matted to his forehead, caked with blood. But it wasn't my little boy. When our eyes met, a chill coursed through my body. His eyes were empty, cold, emotionless. Not the warm, smiling, brown eyes of my son. Tap. 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 Mommy? It's cold out here. Please let me and he called. I stood paralyzed, watching him in fear. Mommy, my head hurts, and it's dark out here, and I'm cold, and I'm scared. Please let me in. Please. Tears fell down my trembling cheeks. It's not Alex. It can't be. Do not open that door. But seeing my baby like that, even if he was just some sinister shell of himself, it broke my heart in two. I walked over to the glass, crouched down to his level. I placed my hand against the cold surface. I love you, Alex. His face was red from crying. The blood mingled with the tears on his cheeks. Mommy! Open the door! He screamed. All I wanted to do was open that door, give him a great big hug, and never let him go. But I knew it wasn't him. Do not open that door. The words repeated in my head. I steeled myself against my emotions, restraining the torrent of tears that threatened to burst with every breath. It's a spirit, a devil, a trick. I forced myself to turn around. Mommy, where are you going? He screamed through the glass. Fast, panicked, frenzied. Mommy! Ah! <sighs> 
I didn't reply. I forced my heavy legs to take a step, then another, and another, until I was at the bedroom door. I forced myself to close the curtains, lie down on the mattress, pull the covers over my head, ignore the faint crying from the kitchen. It began to rain. The water drummed on the roof, splashed down the gutters. Thunder rumbled in the distance. Alex was always afraid of the thunder, I thought. I couldn't hear his cries over the rain anymore, but it didn't stop me from picturing him there, standing at the door and screaming, crying, telling me he's scared, begging me to let him in. Somehow, I fell asleep. When I woke up, it was well past morning. I was numb, empty. The image of Alex was burned into my eyes, my mind, my heart. I leapt out of bed and ran over to the kitchen door. A small part of me hoped he would still be there, but he wasn't. Just the green grass, the rocky hill, and the patio. And something else. A small set of footprints in the mud, weaving away from the front door. Spirits don't leave footprints. <coughs> A wave of nausea rose in my throat as the realization fell on me, heart pounding. I raised my eye to the hill where I'd left his broken body. It was empty. He must be alive. I'd left my son out there all alone, wounded and bloody. He wasn't some monster waiting for me to let him in. I was the monster. I ran into the backyard. Alex! Alex! I screamed until my voice was hoarse. Alex! Only silence replied. And that was, my son has been acting strange ever since I killed him by Blair Daniels. Many of us in the horror community know who Blair Daniels is, but I just wanted to share with you, if you enjoyed that story, she too is a published author who allows us little YouTube creators to do her stories. And um, I also have another friend who also is a published author who lets me do her stories. And I'm grateful to both of them for helping me launch a YouTube performing career or hobby, because um, I love to perform. And as long as you enjoy them, I will provide them. Okay, I'll try to slip one more in today. Um, this might be an only video, or I we'll see if I get another one in. We'll keep it a surprise, because as you can hear, my voice is a little bit worn out from what a week I've had. In the meantime, we'll see. But just in case, love at ya. Don't forget to leave a like and a thumbs up, or a thumbs down depending on how you felt about it and here's your second reminder because i like to rip off mr Gigi with his little second reminder to leave a like and a thumbs up and a sub all right talk at you soon lovelies bye now or maybe not we'll see okay now bye bye now